little um, Lucky Craft vibes we're using. They've got a little inbuilt rattle inside of them. Just let me show you a look, mate. We're just going to try different things. Kyle's got like a brown dog colour. We've got this little um, little purple and yellow. We've got an inbuilt rattle in them, so there's plenty of noise. It's just a matter of swapping things around. We know there's fish suspended around this rock here, so we're just going to keep trying different things, different depths, popping, burning, slow rolling. Um, we'll just see what happens, and eventually we'll get onto a bit of a pattern, so yeah, we'll keep working at it. Successful lure fishing is all about convincing a fish that your lure is not only alive, but something good to eat. Speed, action, size, shape, sound, colour and even smell all come into the equation when you're trying to elicit an aggressive response from a predatory fish. The way you retrieve your lure after each cast is extremely important and you may need to experiment. Hopping a lure works different depths and can simulate a wounded bait fish, especially on the drop. Burning the lure simply means retrieving at a moderate to high speed, producing a fast, tight vibration. This screams, grab me now before I get away to a predatory fish. Slow rolling is a slower, steady retrieve rate that gives the sometimes sluggish yellow belly time to smack the lure. Slow roll. Just change it up a little bit there. We've, we've been burning and trying, you know, trying to get, get them to react to it burning through fairly quick and that time I just slowed it right down and almost hopped it and just slow lifts just so you can feel it vibrating and he's just hit it. Once a specific retrieve has triggered a hookup, you would need to repeat it in an attempt to replicate the successful result, so pay attention to what you're doing. If the mood of the fish changes and your successful method stops working, then try something different. By being observant, paying attention to their surroundings, watching the sounder and monitoring their retrieves, Matt had a very hot session on a very cool day. Their lures not only looked like the bait fish they were trying to imitate, but they acted like them too. Time on the water will gain you the experience necessary to enjoy sessions like this. By applying a few simple techniques and staying focused, you'll be well on your way to better, more consistent fishing results. The versatile Lucky Craft LV RTOs will definitely contribute to more consistent fishing results on a wide range of species, including yellow belly and bass. Their strong swimming action on the drop makes them ideal for this style of fishing. They can be found on the EJ Todd website 